Hello YouTube family. Hello Facebook family. Hello TikTok family. Hello Instagram. How you guys doing? It's your girl Ina. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I love you for watching me today. If you're first time, welcome. If you've been viewing me, welcome as well. So I'm just here to do a quick scripture reading. We'll talk about it and we'll be done. Okay, so my scripture reading is going to be coming from the book of let's see mark 8 36 says for what shall it profit a man if he shall gain uh, if he shall gain the whole war and loses his soul in verse 37 says or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my word in this adulterer and sinful generation of him also shall the son of men be ashamed when he come in the glory of his father with the holy angels so the lord is clearly telling us that what shall it gain a man to gain the whole world to gain riches to gain prosperity to gain success and loses his soul your soul is more important than worldly things your soul is more important than the food that you eat. Where you're going to spend eternity is more important than this world that is going to be passing us about, passing us by soon. Okay, so we're just here for a season. We're not going to be here forever. Heaven is our home if you believe in Jesus. So the Lord is telling us that what would it profit a man if he gained the whole world, gained riches, gain cars, gain all this prosperity that people are running after and loses your soul. When you die today, God forbid, do you know where you're going? Are you going to heaven or to hell? Do you believe in Jesus? Have you given your life to Jesus? Do you just care about the worldly stuff and don't care about your soul? Do you just, do you just care about food that you eat and you don't care about your soul? Do you just care about the clothes that you wear and you don't care about your soul? God is saying to you and I, what is going to profit us? What is going to profit men if we lose our soul? gain the whole war and lose our soul our soul is more important than the whole war so we should chase after heavenly things and surrender our lives to jesus and live for him because when he returns he's coming only for those that believe and trusted him so do not lose your soul because of worldly stuff do not lose your soul because of material stuff that is passing away so i'm speaking this message to myself as well we should focus on god focus on heavenly things focus on, on things of the kingdom and seek god whole, wholeheartedly that will not lose our soul and gain the whole world because if you gain this whole world this world is passing by but when jesus return and he asks you what did you do with what i gave to you did you surrender your life to me do you know me as your lord and savior do you accept that i die for you what will you tell him okay he's coming only he's coming back soon for only those that believe in him okay if we look at the war right now there's so many wars there's so many earthquakes there's so many um so many disaster going on all over the war right now so you never know when your time will come only jesus know the end of our days so we need to get right we better get right before he return to judge the living and the dead he's only taking those with him to heaven that belong to him that have trusted him that are giving their life over to him so the lord said what would it gain you and i if we gain this whole war and lose our soul if we gain all this material stuff all these cars all these houses then when we die we're not taking anything with us to the to the grave when people die, even their suitcase, they don't take it with them to the grave. They just go the clothes that they have on, they put on them. That's it. You're not taking all your material things. You're not taking your cars. You're not taking your houses. You're not taking nothing with you. You're going all by yourself. So meet your maker and wait for judgment. So give your lives to Jesus before it's too late. And forget about the things of the war and focus on heavenly things. Okay, I'm not saying that you cannot have cars. You cannot have good things. You can have that. But... Give your life to Jesus and focus on him wholeheartedly. And do not trust in your things. Put your trust in God. Okay? 
God wants us to trust him because the things of the world is passing away. The Lord said, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my world shall never pass away. Okay, so depend on God. Focus on heavenly things, not earthly things. Do not lose your soul because of material things. Do not lose your soul because of worldly things. Depend on God and trust in him. Okay? So I encourage you to read the book of Mark 8.36. Okay? Read it and meditate on it. And surrender your life to Jesus. And I want to give you this opportunity if you don't know him as your Lord and Savior. Just say this short, simple prayer with me. If you say you're safe, you're on your way to heaven, God forbid, you should die today. Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. Forgive me for every sin. Make me your whole. Wash me clean. I surrender my life to you. I say bye-bye to the world. I confess you as Lord and Savior today. And I ask that you take to the country over my life. Lead me and direct me. And write my name to the land book of life. Okay, I give you my all, Jesus. Be my love, be my savior. I confess you boldly. Simple as that, family. You're safe. God forbid something should happen today. You die. You know you're going to heaven. God forbid you know if you lose this, your soul. If you die, if you die today, you're going to heaven as a hell. But do not focus on worldly things that is passing away. Focus on your soul. Focus on where you are going. Depend on the Lord. Okay. Seek after heavenly things. Okay? Make a place for yourself in heaven. Then when you die, God forbid, you know where you're going. You don't want to go to hell. You don't want to spend eternity in hell with the devils and his angels. Because he's fighting as hard as he can to take as much as he wants to hell with him. To hell with him. But do not allow that to happen. Jesus died for you not to spend eternity away from him. He died for you not to go to hell, but to go to heaven. He died for you to have a life and life more abundantly. He died for us to have peace as a person understanding. He died for us for us to go to, from glory to glory to glory. So surrender your life to him before it's too late. Do not gain the whole world and lose your soul. I'm encouraging you. Do not do that. Surrender your life to Jesus before it's too late. This war is passing away. It's passing by. When people when you will die today, God forbid, your 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 end has come. When you die today, God forbid. There's no more tomorrow to repent. There's no more tomorrow to change your ways. So do it now when they save time before it's too late. Do not gain this war and lose your soul. Your soul is the most important thing. God care about your soul. That's the reason why he died for you and I. So we can have life and life more abundantly. That's the reason why he died for you and I. So we'll not spend eternity in hell. So do not lose your soul. Do not gain the whole war and lose your soul. I love you. That's why I'm encouraging you. To surrender your life to Jesus and focus on him. And do not gain this whole world and lose your soul. Fight for your soul. Gain your soul, not the war. Okay, family? It's your girl, Ina. You see all this short message to encourage you to not gain the war and lose your soul. Gain your soul and surrender your soul to Jesus. And he will make a way for you. There seems to be no way. And when he come back, he'll take you home with him to heaven. Or if you die before he return... You know when he come back, he's going to resurrect you and you're going to spend eternity with him. But do not lose your soul. Do not gain the war, lose your soul. I love you. Jesus love you. So he want the best for you. Okay? So your girl, Ina, I just hear the show scriptures encourage you to live holy, to live for God, to give him your all, and he'll make a way for you. I love you. See you in my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like my videos. Hit the notification button. So when I do a new video, you're going to have done so. I'll see you in my next one. Be safe. Go with God. And he'll go with you. Bye. <laughs>